Good morning, I am Samuel. I am from Singapore and I signed up for the Rescue First Steps U19 Challenge. This is the second year I am involved in robotics. Through this challenge, I learned basic C programming. I learned how to write and compile code and how to apply if-else statements, for loops and state machines. I also learned soft skills like setting and achieving realistic goals and learning different approaches to solving the task from the match videos online. I will cover the strategy I employed to solve the task, starting with basic functionality. For wall avoidance, I programmed the robot to turn whenever either of the three ultrasound sensors read below a threshold value. In the top video, the robot turns whenever the front sensor detects a wall. And in the bottom video, the robot turns when a side sensor detects a wall. The direction of turning depends on whether the left ultrasound sensor or right ultrasound sensor is closer to the wall. To deposit the objects, both of the RGB sensors must be within the orange deposit zone. If it happens that only one sensor detects orange, the robot will turn until both sensors are within the orange zone. Finally, the gyro sensor and the position data are used to determine the required movement of the robot. We can obtain the bearing of the robot using the gyro sensor. We can also calculate the direction vector from the robot's current position to a target position. Then, we will steer the robot such that it rotates towards the direction vector. To steer the robot, we control the speed of both the left and right wheels. When both wheels are set to forward, the robot will move straight. When the left wheel is set at a higher speed than the right wheel, the robot turns to the right, and vice versa. Maximum rotation can be obtained by setting the wheels to rotate in opposite directions. In this case, the robot will turn on the spot. Differential steering allows us to combine two separate actions, turning and moving into one. Thus, we don't have to consider separate cases for each. Now, we move on to strategy. To avoid traps, we don't visit the bottom row. We also prioritize collecting the red cyan black color set since each set gives us 90 additional points. To do so, we look at what colors have been collected. Then, we only search the boxes with colors we are missing. Once the robot is full, we go to the deposit zone. This process is repeated until the game ends. One point of improvement for my current code is that my wall avoidance is too sensitive. In this case, the robot is trying to move to the blue zone, but it struggles to pass through the small gap. Possibly, I can lower the threshold for the ultrasound sensor such that the robot only turns when it is closer to the wall. I am most interested in learning from Tung Yi because from his match video, he had a very smooth wall avoidance and he was able to search for objects very efficiently. I plan to share what I learned from this challenge to friends who may be interested. Thank you.